All right, well, we are here today at Bedford Street Antiques. We are right around the corner from the shop. It is later in the day. It is actually 4.40, um, and they are open until 7 here. So we're going to head in and see what we can find, what we can buy, and flip for a profit. So here we go. Okay, well, the last time I had tremendous luck here in the cases. So here we are again. The bird is new. <laughs> Yes, the bird is new. Oh my gosh, and that's beautiful. Look at the tail feathers on that thing. That's marked $155. It is a Formia Fetri di Murano. And it has its Murano sticker there. Absolutely fabulous. But at $155, that's not something I think I could buy and flip for a profit. However, I'm gonna bring you down a hair this to this Lotes type art glass tobacco jar. The last time I was here, I unknowingly picked up a piece of Lotes. It was insane. I did not expect it. Um, I think it was $80, $88 and I actually got 20% off. I ended up paying $63 and it sold for $711. I did not know it was Lotes at the time. I thought, oh, that's a beautiful piece of uh, iridescent glass and so this is very similar to that piece of glass that I purchased uh, the last time. It was not out of these cases um, but I do want to get this out. Now that I know what it feels like I'd really love to hold this and feel it because if that little vase sold for $711 if this does happen to be Lotes I'm pretty sure I'm saying that correctly. It could be worth much more than $250. That, that is a big investment on a piece that I'm going to buy and flip for a profit, but um, if it's loads, it has the potential to be worth a lot of money. So I'm gonna get that out and touch it. <laughs> Ooh, we've got another uh, piece of Murano in here as well. It's a beautiful little hat. I don't believe that was in here the last time, or maybe it was, and I was just so distracted by the beautiful pink Murano bowl that I just did not notice it the last time because that is completely like, oh, this is beautiful too. It's a stretch glass. Got the fish there. The, this piece in the back I just think is absolutely beautiful. It's a Moser. You know what? We have a decanter set listed right now that is almost identical to this. And um, it just occurred to me that the decanter set is likely Moser. It's not listed as Moser, but um, it's almost identical to this, and so it li likely is Moser. But $400 for those three pieces. Oh, I drool over them every time I come in here. Close up. Yeah, I think we're going to do $250 on that. It's really pretty. Thank you very much. Nope. Our poor little naked turtle friend is still here. <laughs> He's so sweet. We looked at this before. This is Salmon Falls. It's uh, known for the little blueberries on there from Maine. Every time I come in here, I always wander to Paul's area because he restocks every week on Tuesdays, and I know I can find fresh new treasures. So here we are at Paul's. I always got to check in the cabinets. He likes to stash stuff in here. <laughs> this is kind of a neat lamp. I like that. Got a bunny in there, some ornaments, some majolica. He's got his Santa. Paul has such a collection of these blow molds. It's crazy. It's kind of a neat vase, Vaseline. Handle vase. I wonder if that glows. It's only five bucks. Well, you look at that. Three dollars for the green plastic pumpkin. I know somebody who has her heart set on one of these, so yes, I will. I will buy the green plastic pumpkin for three dollars. I feel like. Paul put that there for a reason. 
<laughs> whether he whether he knew it or not, <laughs> it was meant to be. Yeah, he's got his Santa Clauses out. All right. Well, look at this bed frame. Beautiful East Lake, ninety-five dollars. Full size bed. Beautiful East Lake design. Mmm, we've got some folk art here. $125, yes. <laughs> folk art. Um, I don't see where it's signed anywhere though. It's just marked for $125. Not sure who makes that. It doesn't say on it who makes it. This one back here is nice as well. $125 on that one. Not sure who makes it. These cats are really neat. I love them. And here we are, back at one of my favorite cabinets to find the treasures. We've found some absolutely amazing pieces out of here in the past. And uh, we are back for more. <laughs> um, let's see what we can find. They've moved some Christmas things into here, it looks like. I kind of like that little birdie in the back. And the dachshund is great. That uh, sterling piece, that little flower there, I actually have one of those at the shop. And interestingly enough, mine is marked Tiffany. And I just didn't really feel like Tiffany to me, and I don't know if somebody marked it Tiffany after the fact. Um, it didn't feel like Tiffany, so it hasn't been listed because I don't want to mislead anyone because of the Tiffany mark. I don't believe that it is Tiffany. I see the kitty cat's still in there. So let us venture into the booth and see what we can find. They were restocking the last time we were here, which wasn't very long ago, so I suspect there might not be many new things in here. Not really seeing a whole lot. Here's one of those fun uh, pecking chicken pieces. And a nice flannel. Look at these two little Christmas. I guess I was going to say Santa, but they look more like elves. That one might be Santa. That one looks like a little elf. But they're little, uh, little figurines. We'll pop them in our <laughs> little, uh, basket here. Here's a knee hugger. He's pretty cute, too. He's 18, though. I'm not sure about him. What is this? This is a vintage full box of incense. I don't know if we need that. We've got another one. For five dollars, okay. I have to get one for Ashton too, otherwise, uh, otherwise it's not fair. All right, here we go upstairs. Looky here, little vegetables with faces. I'm out of Japan. A little condiment there. <laughs> it looks like they even had the little uh, hair on top at one point. Ooh, only $5. You know what, we will put them in our other Halloween basket. I like those for five bucks. Oh my goodness, will you look at that? That is beautiful. And it's kind of soft too. I mean, it's not like real rough. I've been passing a lot of these up lately. Oh, I don't understand. How much is it? $56. Maybe it is a little, maybe it's a little rough. <laughs> it feels almost like a rug. I guess it's intended for a bed. 
It's $58. We just bought so many quilts that I'm looking at this and I'm like, you know, we haven't even listed a single quilt and I think we bought like 30, 35 quilts. We have to get the quilts listed before before I start um, buying any other textiles. It is only $58. I feel like that's a great deal. But we'll leave it here for, for someone else. Look at all of the blow molds. They're everywhere. <laughs> Everywhere. That's a weird looking lamp. There is the little skeleton guy. Oh, this is a Jim Shore Disney piece. I don't think I've ever seen that one before. Wow, we're making quick work of it today. Wowzers, what is this? a weird lamp. It's a monkey lamp. I'm not really sure what's going on here, but it's really heavy and it's solid brass. It's got a monkey on it. It's $19. Unfortunately, it's got a little bit of rust. I don't know if that could be touched up at all. It is a really neat lamp. The monkey's cool. $18. I feel like I could double my money on that piece. But goodness gracious, is it heavy? And you can tell it's old because it's got a cloth cord on there. It'll likely need to be rewired. You know, I think I'm going to leave it because it needs to be rewired. And I don't have the time these days to putz around and rewire. It's, it's a quick job, but I just don't have the time to commit to rewiring. Well, will you look at that? <laughs> She's still here. I honestly did not expect that Mary had a little lamb would still be here. I thought she would have been snatched up by someone. But there she is, she's still here. Since she's still here, and everybody seemed to uh, really like her. I guess I'll grab her. She's in, <laughs> she's in pretty rough shape. You can see the frame is I mean, she's, she's pretty rough. That's why I left her the last time, but everybody's like, I wish she would have grabbed her. So we will grab her this time. This booth always has a ton of stuff on the shelves. And I've noticed that they added some treasures. <laughs> uh, they have some paperweights here now. Is that, oh, that is liquid. Those are liquid. Interesting. I've got a few salt cellars back there. I like them, but you know, they're just kind of gold. Uh, they don't have flowers or anything fun painted on them. They're cool, they're salt cellars, but I like to see them with more stuff, more decoration. So I'm gonna pass on those. Um, but the reason I came back here wasn't because of anything I saw on the shelves. I actually spotted something here in the case. And this case is usually open, so. I'm gonna test that theory right now if I can get in there. Bins, there we go. Oh, you can see there's some paperweights in here as well. Look, we've got the Coke paperweight. How much do they want for that one? $25. We've bought and sold that one before, but I can't remember how much it goes for. What I wanted to see was this. Oh, squeak. Is that Poland? Yes, it is Poland. Polish glass. And that's all we get. <laughs> All it says is Polish glass. It doesn't say a price on it, unfortunately. This is the octopus. Octopus glass, I think is what they call it. Because of all those little fine lines there. I mean, it's a little terrifying to ship, but I'm a little bummed out there's no price on it. And um, we may have to leave it behind and maybe mention that there's no price. So, all right. 
Well, that's what I wanted to see. I was curious about that. This owl over here looks curious. I think he's made of a coconut. He's pretty neat looking. All right, so I think this is gonna be one of the last booths that we check out today. But it looks like they've got some new treasures in here. These candlesticks, I look at these every single time. Uh, 39, okay, so they weren't priced the last time we were in here, but they, all, they are Rosenthal Netter. I believe Rosenthal Netter is the importer. Um, they are made in Italy. Man, they are nice. I, I believe I looked them up before, though, and I think they sell between 45 and 65 So at $39, there's just... It's, I can't double my money. And I like to at least double my money at that price point, so... Oh, look at the toxin. Dachshund bookends. Bookends are tough, I've come to realize. <laughs> Even though they are fantastic. Oh, he's missing his tail. Oh, that's such a bummer. But I've noticed that bookends are tough just because they're so heavy. I think that the shipping really discourages people. So they have to be fantastic. Really great bookends in order to encourage people to want to buy them. So fortunately with uh, this condition issue, the, I'm not going to be able to to do that. This, on the other hand, is something I've been searching for my entire picking life. Just kidding. <laughs> it is really neat though. $49. It's made out of spoons and forks. They're aluminum too. It's all aluminum. That's pretty neat. Got a few trinkets here. Acorn trinket. Little purse trinket. Ooh, look at these. Oh, wait. Hello, zebra. You are California pottery. Hmm. I wonder who makes you. I mean, it kind of looks like real Hondo, but with the eyes closed. Uh, I don't know at 14. The last real Hondo one we got was a deer, and I think we paid under $10 for it, and I was more comfortable with that. This is really great. Greek goddess trinket box. Look at her. Uh, I think she's newer than she looks. She's made to look Art Nouveau, but I think she's made of resin. <laughs> I was just walking back up to the checkout and notice these little chicks here. They're really sweet. And I guess you can spin that, that glass piece right there. I'm like, how do you turn it upside down? But that's what you do, because it's attached to a wire. You can spin it. There's a ton of stipes here in this booth. You've got, I think it's Mongo, is the name of this monkey. Right, isn't this, that, this is, this is a smaller version of him. Ah, Mungo. See, I'm getting to know my stives. I'm getting better. Well, our total spend there was $274. And about 250 of that was that Lotz jar, which I'm not sure is a biscuit jar or a tobacco jar. And I'm not even sure if it's Lotz, but whatever it is, it's amazing. And I know that even if it's not Lotz, it's a really, really good quality piece. So I'm confident in the purchase knowing I can more than make my money back on it even if it's not Lotz. So that being said, I'm going to get out of here now. I'm going to head home um, and grab dinner with the kids. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see all of you tomorrow. So long. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. In case you spotted something you just can't live without, we do post 25 to 30 new items in our eBay shop every single day and I've posted a link to that down in the description.